We all know that the concept, the Indian of Mace Mitzvah, is one of the greatest mitzvahs that we have. What is unique about the mitzvah of taking care of someone who died is the fact that there is an achrayus, a responsibility that is perhaps greater than any other. It is the only thing other than perhaps saving a life where a kayin gadol sets aside his privilege of t and responsibility to take care of the service for Klal Yisrael, for the Jewish people, and must bury a May Smith and must defile himself to do so, even though he will forfeit the ability to do the avoda appropriately. The same is true, the Gemara tells us in Moe Katan, Dafchav Zayin Beis, that when a person dies in the city, the entire city is obligated to ensure that he gets buried or she gets buried immediately. The only thing that takes that responsibility away from the city, away from the individual, even if they are in the middle of their work, is only if there is a Hever Kadisha that will take care of that person. And so the Hever Kadisha removes the responsibility from all of the individuals in the city. I've been privileged to spend the last 35 years as the rabbinic advisor of the Hebrew Free Burial Association. The work that they do is unbelievable. The work that they do is sometimes heroic, as we've seen in the COVID situation. And the work that they do is special in the sense that they do it the fullest sensitivity and concern for halacha to the utmost degree, to the point that there are minyanim provided when necessary. Every person, no matter who they are, no matter what their background, no matter what their accomplishments or lack thereof, no matter the level of observance, receives the greatest covered one could imagine, tahara, tachrichim, a kvura, kahalocha, a rabbi at the service, and as I said, a minion, sensitivity to the family and to the highest level of covered hames. I would just end by saying that meis mitzvah in our world is perhaps a little different. While Hebrew free burial buries people who have no one to bury them, who would otherwise end up in city cemetery or otherwise cremated, Cremation today is rampant. Cremation today is at 40% or more nationally. And the fact is that a mace mitzvah in our community doesn't have to be someone without family or without funds. A mace mitzvah in our community is someone who may have chosen cremation because they didn't understand the importance of Kura Kahalacha. If we can reach out to them, and Hebrew Free Burial does this on a regular basis, to try to convince the family and to provide them with the opportunity for Kura Kahalocha, that is the highest level of Mace Mitzvah as well.